<laughs> Cause my body too bootylicious. <laughs> All right, bootylicious. Here we go. Uh, Samus. Oh, okay, here we go. This is Samus. All right. So. <laughs> Right. Here is here is classic Samus Slide from one. Uh, Metroid One. <laughs> right. So yeah. Here's here's what uh, what I knew of as Samus. She's got her her brown hair and her hot pink hot pink uh, garments, whatever they are, and her boots. Matching boots. That's, that's nice. It's pretty. Well, sweet. they only they only had three <laughs> colors to work with. <laughs> it's not it's not her fault. <laughs> oh, you could just say she's styling. Yeah, it's all right. right. right, right. Now, um, now, I know what you're thinking. What? But Dave, what about Justin Bailey Samus? Don't worry, we'll get to her later. Okay. <laughs> all right, next game to come out. Here we go. So here's okay. Samus from Metroid 2. Uh, she actually had a her hair up, but there's a little, little animation of her taking her hair down and doing this thing. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Sure. And uh, so, I don't know. In my opinion, she looks really different. Uh, maybe it's just that she's not a tiny video gamey cartoon character anymore, but actually looks right. like a woman. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, I think this was pretty. Uh, I think this was pretty part of for the course in like '90s action movies back then, though. Like you know the the kick ass you know female uh, you know. CIA agent or something and there's the scene where she's at her house and she's usually wearing like that like a, like a spaghetti strap tank top and underwear and she's like <laughs> watching TV with like popcorn in one hand and a gun in the other and she's is like, this when the uh, is this when the bad guys <laughs> break in and she stops them right yeah in her underwear obviously mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well what are your what are your thoughts and feelings on this photo? That's a that's a. I, I don't know. It's just a good picture. I don't know. <laughs> it's a good picture. But the point the point is, uh, she she looks different than uh, the last time. Yes, she uh, looks more like a woman. So here we have uh, Super Metroid. Oh, she's where... been working out. Right, you can. I, <laughs> she's got she's we, got some gains. <laughs> we only got 16 bits, but we use those bits to show uh, all those abs. Muscle um, division. This is what you were talking about before. You were saying right. that oh, she should be more muscular. Yes. Like, th so, there you go. <laughs> so in the instruction manual for uh, Metroid 2, it uh, it says that she is 190 centimeters, I think. Anyway, like pretty stinking tall i think close to seven feet tall but it's oh a little, nice there's there's debate is that her height or is that the suit's height mm, i don't know that's true but, she's uh, not that much different when she's in the suit though right mm, i mean think about I when you know. play smash like is she oh. really that much bigger when she's in the suit i mean not really that's an interesting <laughs> point huh i didn't think so about she's, that so she's very tall i mean good for her <laughs> samus she, aaron she, smash for scale <laughs> She she drank her milk and stuff and grew very tall. Good job, and she's got That's some good. killer abs. You know that doesn't just she happen. She's been she's been working on them. So what I always thought was interesting about this is it me to me it looks incredibly Japanese anime, like this is straight out of uh, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah, for sure. The um, hair too. <laughs> and I don't know, like it's it could be argued that it's sexy clothes. But I wouldn't call this uh, an overly sexualized. Uh, no, no, not at all. Or anything. Or yeah. character, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a female body, but it's not being portrayed for the male gaze. <laughs> the male gaze. <laughs> right. she's, she's just standing there looking badass. She's here to uh, <laughs> uh, this, uh, blow up space pirates and chew bubble gum. Right. She's all out of gum. <laughs> and all out of pants, too. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's here to. She, she's here to. She's here to shoot Metroids and wear pants, and I'm nope. all out of pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right? Yeah. Man. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> so by. Yeah, so now we've got three very distinct uh, versions of Samus. Um, yeah. All right. Next up is so this is Metroid Four, Metroid Fusion. Okay. Where she kind of she's blonde now. She starts to kind of have her uh, her dangles. I don't know what they're called. 
<laughs> right, right. She's got the PC look going on here. The wind swept. Where's the wind coming from? We don't know. But I, d- Space wind. I, I did wear that exact top for the uh, <laughs> for the measure. I, I swear. No kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, remember? Like- no, I'm saying that like when we played, remember I had like oh, the, the yeah, plasticky yeah. blue look at that. <laughs> like I'm oh, like, oh goodness. my god, <laughs> <laughs> she wore it. It's perfect. I didn't if have only, matching boots though. <laughs> if only you had uh, plastic blue shorts, right? <laughs> hey. Well, <laughs> you know me. I All like right. my shiny articles clothing. <laughs> the shinier the better. All right, so this is uh, this is the only image of Samus from Metroid Prime One. Is it? You don't. You never see a, uh, a full body shot of her. She is just oh. a woman. <laughs> well, yeah, that's good, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But I guess we we can see the the uh, suit for scale here too. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, she's beefy. Yeah. Like I could, <laughs> I could, I could probably fit in one of those uh, shoulder balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, I've seen a lot of shoulder balls in my life at the <laughs> conventions, like people doing Samus. Like, a lot of. A lot of um, buying some bowls at the dollar store, like cutting them up and stuff. <laughs> buying some oh bowls, like yeah, food? yeah, oh plastic, yeah, like plastic, uh... yeah, 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 like cutting them up and stuff. Yeah, that's very clever. Cosplayers <laughs> never cease to amaze me. Did it, did it look good? Yeah, yeah, it looked amazing. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that and everyone, amazing. everyone was thrilled, and everyone kept like crowding around her and wanted her picture, and everyone was going bananas. Yeah, <laughs> that's neat. I always forget they sold. Uh, what is it? There is an official Samus arm cannon that you can buy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. That might be kind of fun to have someday. We right? Made, yeah. For my, sure. <laughs> my son. My son loves Metroid, and yeah. uh, we actually uh, we made Samus arm cannons out of. I think it was. Uh, Hold on, oatmeal, an oatmeal, empty oatmeal container, and like <laughs> we glued a uh, an empty uh, oh, shoot a yogurt container on top, and then like another container, and wrapped it all up in construction <laughs> paper. Oh, it was great. And you can stick oh, your nice. in. Yeah, it yeah. That was the closest <laughs> I've done to cosplaying Samus. <laughs> nice. Right. So next up, so here. We have Here Metroid we see a Fusion. distinct change. <laughs> <laughs> this is the introduction of the Zero suit. Ah. She's got her official suit. She's got the official uh, boob socks. She's got the official <laughs> hair <laughs> dong- <laughs> dongles <laughs> or dangles. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, that's like her official hairstyle, I think, you know. Right. Or it's what I, I remember. Right, right. I mean, yeah, like this photo, obviously, you know, the main focus is her butt. And just in case you weren't looking at her butt, her hand is there. <laughs> oh, so, right. So all movement and energy is at the butt. <laughs> so you are sure to look at the butt. This picture is uh... a <laughs> well said. This picture is not too bad. Uh, I'm always, uh, but in, in some other art, uh, I'm always amazed when the artists, uh, they're in the situation where they say, hmm, we need to show this female character from behind, but we also need to show her her top from the front. Right, so, right. You want we'll the just... boobums. You got to have the boobums too, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just break physics and uh, right, yeah, yeah. somehow show both in one. Yeah. Um, I mean... All right, so that's the official, this is the official, uh, the moment that uh, she got her uh, canonized look, her modern <laughs> she look. She got her groove back. <laughs> Okay, so next up, so brace yourself. Next up no, is all right. <laughs> Metroid, <T-pose. laughs> Metroid T-pose Prime Two. <laughs> okay. I all don't right. know what she's. Uh, I don't know what she's seen, but she's seen some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this this is an artwork from the game, though. This is just her design. I think this is from the game, but of course, she doesn't stand like this in the game. Right, uh, right. But uh, so yeah, this was by Retro Studios. Uh, so this was after her new look was canonized, and they had to put her into the game, a model into the game. So whatever, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Next up is Metroid Prime Three, 
And this is the game that opens up with her in her zero suit inside her spaceship lounging. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Well, I guess I kind of know what she's doing. I know why she's there. I know why they put her there. <laughs> before uh, yeah yeah you know she's just doing hot girl shit what are you talking about <laughs> i'm just like don't bother me i'm doing hot girl shit <laughs> is that what it's called you're gonna you're letting me in on all the secrets <laughs> i mean you know she's striking a pose why not <laughs> <laughs> all right and here is metroid other oh, m okay this is kind of either. like before, yeah, yeah, kind of like yeah. before. Oh, and also maybe noteworthy is uh, the uh, she officially has a uh, high heels. Or, yeah, ah, heels. okay, it's more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it maybe true? maybe there's like less gravity, so like you can wear stilettos all day and it won't matter. That'd be actually pretty awesome. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I, I could I could be down for that. Give me some stilettos on the moon. Watch me run. <laughs> I'm pretty awesome. Yeah, <laughs> you could wear those shits all night and <laughs> not, not have pain in your feet at all. That's amazing. You know, maybe. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. As someone who has never uh, tried, well, <laughs> never tried heels for an extended period of time, I have nothing that you could, you could contribute to this thought. <laughs> Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> there are shoes that are just not made for a whole night's wear. Mm. <laughs> oh. All right. So next up, so in the in the last video, in the uh, Metroid video we made previously, I mentioned that how much I love love the um, the uh, Metroid Samus Returns official artwork. So they redid her design a little bit. Um, so, you know, in the earlier games, we saw her muscles and in some of uh, official or semi official artwork, she was really buff and really tall potentially. And, uh, then she kind of got during the zero suit, uh, version, she kind of got, uh, she became more dainty and more petite. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, this is the official artwork for Samus Returns. So she is still very much, you know, zero suit Samus. Right, but right. With the same hair and whatever. But like, yeah. Ready to kill stuff, which I really appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you approve of this one more than the one previous? Yeah, because she is more like the tough warrior, the strong warrior, like physically strong warrior that I thought she was growing up. Oh, okay. So is it the pose, you think? Because I was about to say, as far as, far as her, um, you know, measurements, I feel like this is very similar to the one before. She's still got huge bazongas and huge hips and thighs, which mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with, by the way. <laughs> Some women are just built like that, you know? Like, just saying. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you know? As a, you know, thunder thigh girl myself. <laughs> You know, I I can lose weight and it'll never leave my thighs. It will never. It's always there. It's just how I'm built. And maybe Samus is like that, you know? Like, there's no problem with that. I think, I think honestly, you know, this, it, this honest, does. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I've been holding back until now, you know? And now I got to let it all out, you know? Like, Honestly, like, yeah, the only difference I see between this and the one before is just the stance, which, you know, I guess it, you know, if you want her to look like strong and confident, which she should, right, then yeah, like an up ass shot of her is probably, you know, not the right way to portray her. But, you know, I'm just saying, like, why are you looking? She's just doing her business. Like, why are you looking there? <laughs> That's right. She's here for shit. Samus is all business. <laughs> she has shit stuff to do. Why are you looking at her like that? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's see. I don't remember what's next. Oh, here we go. So these are the sprites oh, from the original game. So um, 
this is weird. If I understand correctly, the whole idea of Samus having green hair is kind of a fluke of the NES hardware. So there are four... So playing through Metroid on the NES, uh, just, you know, regular yellow, whatever, various suit, whatever it's called. Um, her suit, power suit, is uh, there's four colors she can have. There's uh, starting, starting with missiles, various suit, various suit with missiles. And so likewise, after you beat the game and start it again with, uh, you know, with uh, no suit on, um, she still has four color schemes. And she starts with her official canon at the time, brown hair, brownish, blondish hair. That was whatever. Mm-hmm. The, they didn't have a lot of colors on the NSO, so that's what we got. Brownish, right, reddish, right. blondish hair. Yeah, and yeah. so you press select, and you can switch. Uh, so you get uh, you know missile mode there is with the blonde hair. That's all that is. Um, now, the green hair is after you get the various suit. Now, for most people who saw this, you know, if you beat the game, you can start it again and see normal Samus up at the top there. But for most people who just type Justin Bailey, they're going to see her already has the, uh, like, all the power-ups collected. Oh, okay. Which is what you get in the middle there, the green hair. And almost nobody saw the, uh, the you know, what should have been the normal color scheme for Samus. And the bottom, of course, is if when uh, missiles are collected, or missiles are selected. So that's right, where... Yeah. Uh, Justin Bailey color scheme comes from. <laughs> yeah, nice. All right. And now the uh the most uh, what I think is most fascinating about the about all this during the uh the whole debate about uh whether or not Samus has become too sexualized as a character. Uh one of my favorite fun facts is the about the sprites that are mm-hmm. in the official original game. Uh, apparently, in the original ROM, there is a set of unused sprites for Samus. Mm-hmm. The ones that are on the top are what you see in the game. The ones on the bottom are unused. Right, right. Do you see a couple of things that are different? Well, Maybe yeah. M- most notably in the center one, <laughs> center uh, animation. I, I think that it's the only <laughs> thing that's different between the two of them. They made her and moves I- look bigger. <laughs> I mean, her boobs are bigger. I mean, she's you been know. sexualized since the very first game. <laughs> I mean, they might just wanted to, you know, <laughs> make sure that, you know, she looked like a woman or whatever. I guess, you know, like they were. I don't know. They were afraid we wouldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people didn't realize that Samus was a girl, so maybe they just wanted to make sure. That's right. <laughs> that you, even that you knew. <laughs> right, even in the uh, in the original stru- instruction manual, it refers all the pronouns are he. Oh, Very sneaky. See? There you go. I assume whoever wrote the manual just didn't know. <laughs> that could be true. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, all they did was uh, accentuate her chest and made her hair a little more messy. Oh, that's true. There's some, yeah, there's some extra hair there, and some in some ones, not in all. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. And that's the end of our history of Samus, the character Samus Aran. Um, I really like the, uh, the versions I grew up with, uh, Metroid one and Metroid two were not only some of my favorite games of all time, but super influential to me, uh, as a, as a video gamer and hobbyist game developer and professional programmer. Yep, and uh, I don't know. I think the uh, I think the change to uh, the officially canonized Zero Suit Samus was a little, little, little too much of a change for me. It didn't feel like uh, the character I grew up with, so it was hard. But no, yeah. If I'm honest with myself, she's always been sexualized, so that's that. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a child of the times or whatever. And, you know, but none of this really phases me. Like the like the Samus stuff being too sexualized. It's like, I don't know. I, f- I feel like, I mean, I haven't played all Metroids. <laughs> you know, I haven't played all Metroids, but, 
you know, I mean, the the drawings you do get of her, you know, in scantily clad stuff only come from, you know, playing it repeatedly. <laughs> like, anyone just playing the game is going to just see a suit, you know? <laughs> like, all the, all the sexualization is just, like, a reward for just being obsessed with the game and playing it, like, so many times that you get your time down to such a short time or whatever. I don't know. So I don't feel like, I feel like, um, and of course that's what people, ah, oh, like people were making such a huge deal about Tifa with, in the remake of Final Fantasy VII <laughs> that she didn't have big enough boobums anymore. And oh no. That was the complaint? Yeah. Oh, my, oh gosh. my God. The internet <laughs> like went off. They went off about Tifa didn't have big enough boobies anymore, and they didn't bounce, and you know all this stuff. Which I need those that uh, are alive <laughs> physics, right? They wanted the jiggle physics, and it's like you know, I mean, honestly, like, oh, I I don't even want to get into it because the fandom is strong. <laughs> mm. The fandom is very strong with that. But uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that happened. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've watched I've watched a few things about um, different games where people have had problems with the women not being sexualized enough. <laughs> Which I I don't know I don't know. Like with Samus, I don't feel like I don't know. I feel like um, you know showing a woman in I mean the zero suit is sexy, but you know we see here it's a she's in this is the first game. It's a skin tight bodysuit. <laughs> With no pants. Right. <laughs> you know? It's not like she went from, like, Dainty Peach to Zero Suit Samus. Like, it's always been that way, you know? Like, and I don't have a problem with, you know, like, certain characters being sexy, you know? Like, I don't have a problem with that. Like, you know, I think that, you know, yeah, we not every game needs to be a porn, you know, like, you know, like if you're angry, oh, how come, you know, like, oh my God, going back to the Final Fantasy VII remake, like okay. it came out on PC and people made mods for all the characters to be nude. Oh, yeah. At this point, why are you playing the game? Just go watch porn. You know what I mean? Like, why are you playing the game? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I know what you mean. <laughs> like, you know, Metroid... You know, there might be, like, some, you know, pictures of Samus, like, here and there, you know, there like, <laughs> <laughs> where, where she's, you know, I mean, she's in a skin-tight suit. How can it kind of not be sexualized if you're in a skin-tight suit? I don't know. Is the female body just by default sexual? You know, like, like if someone, you know, has a skin-tight something on does that mean that they're instantly sexual because i'll tell you what <laughs> i have some tighter shirts <laughs> and i go to the, I, summertime gets hot okay <laughs> okay and i have some tighter tank tops you know and i go out to the store and i don't expect people to you know think that i'm here for like a perverted reason or anything i'm here to get milk you know what i mean just let me let me be like Samus. <laughs> Samus is in a skin tight suit, but I didn't see her doing anything in these pictures that we've seen. I don't know what other pictures are, but in the pictures that I've seen, I haven't seen her do any like fan servicey sexual things. She's just standing. She's just like, here to get milk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the the pictures where like it's clearly like aimed at her butt. She's not doing anything sexual. She's just standing. Like, right. like, there's a difference between that and like Bayonetta, like taking a lollipop out, licking it, and then sp like spreading her <laughs> legs. You know, like there. Yes, I agree. There is a difference. Obviously, that's meant to be sexual. But oh, like, while <laughs> while her clothes that are made up of her hair come off. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's there's a difference between that and Samus. Like Samus was just, she was doing something. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really specify what she's doing but right she, she's not doing anything I don't know I guess my idea of what is sexual what is not is different I guess <laughs> um, eh. 
Well I, said. I've, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, there we go. That's the end. That's the end of my commentary. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So I meant, you know, right. of course, uh, Metroid Two is my favorite uh, favorite Metroid game, mm-hmm. and uh, I love my favorite version of it is the black and white original. Uh, but someone, uh, because I'm old, I don't know. Because you love the game, uh, but you just can't get away from the black and white. That's right. <laughs> uh, I do love, uh, so there's the fan remake, AM2R, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, I love it, but for different reasons. Whatever, of course, it's not it's nostalgic, but whatever. Uh, the official Nintendo release is Samus Returns, which didn't do a thing for me. I couldn't even Aww. get all the way. I don't think I even made it halfway through it. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, another fan made a colorized ROM hack. It's uh, a Metroid, what's it called? E-J-R-T-Q. What's that I stand for? <laughs> E-J-R-T-Q. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's, I think it's a couple of <laughs> people's names, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, maybe. And uh, yeah, it is outstanding. Like, it's flawless. There's no uh, no glitches or anything. Uh, because there were, there were other colorized ROM hacks in the past that uh, did have glitches and stuff. But this one was just uh, the... Uh, most recent one to come out that was just it was just perfect and i played through oh, it multiple nice. times yeah and the first time i played through it i got to the end and the first uh, time you're a beast yeah, well, <laughs> you got to the end the I first be- time <laughs> metro 2 Whoa. i mean i beat this game like dozens, dozens of times oh okay okay <laughs> but uh, my first time playing through the colorized rom hack i get to the end and whatever it's uh, I'm watching. I get uh, watching, watching, casually watching the credits, and it's amazing, amazing ending song, great song, and then sing uh, it. uh, it's kind of hard to sing. <laughs> okay, all right, no pressure, all no right. pressure. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I beat the game. I beat the game in, uh, in enough time, a short enough amount of time to get the best ending. Ah, so, nice. Samus's clothes come off, and <laughs> I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Samus's suit comes off. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> right. And you didn't beat it I that fast. I <laughs> see this. Oh wow! And I say, what? <laughs> this looks different from what I was expecting. <laughs> right. Yeah. So then I like double check to make sure, like, was there a glitch? Did I get the wrong ROM hack? What's going on? So I did some uh, some uh, internet searching and found forums where people were talking about Samus in this ROM hack, specifically in this ending scene. And uh, the, you know, the fans were complaining about it because it doesn't look like the official canonized uh, Zero Suit Samus. Right, right. And people were asking why. And the reason is, the best, uh, the best reasoning I've heard... Uh, was a guy heard that the person who made this ROM hack wanted he, he uh, they really liked how the original NES Metroid subverted expectations oh, by okay. Samus was a woman and wanted to do something similar with this ROM hack that he was working on or that they were working on and so Samus is black and it worked I was so surprised <laughs> it was really cool <laughs> right, <laughs> accomplished. Yeah. I guess yeah. I guess I got people talking about it. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, oh yeah, dozens of us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and then uh, since then, uh, someone made uh, another ROM hack that goes on top of this ROM hack, the Canon Samus ROM hack. Oh which, okay. Yeah, kind of lame. <laughs> I play the original, authentic colorized ROM hack because <laughs> this authentic is authentic hack. <laughs> yeah, the. Uh, the Canon Samus is uh, it's getting kind of meta. I don't know. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, no, no. It's got some. Uh, I like the blue hair though. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I maybe three I saw like. <laughs> I thought I thought I saw like cat ears for a second, but. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's just her hair. Oh, like maybe there was like some uh, furry drama going on with this. <laughs> Oh goodness! <laughs> no, no furry <for> job. <laughs> no, is there anything like that in Metroid? I guess you save the animals at the end of Super Metroid, but not really. 
They're just weird yeah. alien. <laughs> Yeah, I saw I saw a ROM hack of a Super Metroid where um, the guy went to save the animals, and instead okay. of yeah, like he, they beat the game, he, he was going to leave, and he went to save the animals, and instead of saving the animals because it was like a random generator thing, be... okay, instead of like when he got to the place where you save the animals, he fought Ridley. <laughs> That's even better than what I was going to guess. Oh, wow. So after he's like, I mean, I'm dead. There's no way I made it out. And <laughs> but the um, the counter was gone and it was just, you know, he just made it back to the ship. But um, he didn't save the animals. The ship didn't leave. Well, did he save Ridley? <laughs> no, Ridley died. <laughs> oh. Death for you all. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Give it out. Death like Oprah gives out cars. <laughs> death for you. What a death for you. What a death for you. Yeah. <laughs> Would you be happy with a free car? Sorry, this no. is way off talk. <laughs> Sounds like more s stuff to deal with. I don't know. It depends on <sighs> if it's all paid off. I don't want a monthly payment. If, yeah. it's, if it's all paid off, then okay. <laughs> Well, thank but, you for uh, listening to my. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the end of my 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 Samus, Samus stuff. Oh, that that's like the end end. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> the end, as you can see on the screen. <laughs> oh, so this was the final finale. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the coloring is a bit different, but you know, it reminds <laughs> me. It reminds me of uh, fighting games. Like a lot of times, like if on fighting games, when you like went to a different color set. Like, the skin would change with some of the characters, too. I mean, I remember being a kid and, like, not really caring that much about that sort of thing. Like, I think Darkstalkers is what I'm thinking of. Oh. It's like there was a few characters on Darkstalkers where the different um, the different color sets would be, uh, you know, different skins, stuff like that. I mean, you know, I think that, uh... Ah! <laughs> I think that it's, you know, it's it's not a big deal, you know? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know, especially, like, if it's a, if it's a ROM hack, you know? Like, this, right, right. this was just their, you know, vision, you know? It's, I mean, if Nintendo did that... Sorry, this isn't Sakurai. If Nintendo did that, I'd feel like it's a little, uh... You know, like, you know, oh. I, I talked, I talked about, I talked about this before. It's gimmicky. I would think it's um, gimmicky. I would think yeah. that it's just trying to get money. You know, like it's right. just trying you, to draw attention. You know, I know what you would chain. say. You would say, <laughs> "Why is this still a Metroid game? Why is this still Samus? Right. Why not just make a new character?" <laughs> yes, yes, you can have a character go to space and not be Samus. It can happen. And it would be better if there were more characters introduced, you know? That'd be great. I mean, I know the world would probably, like, absolutely lose its mind if there, if Nintendo were to do that, sadly. If Nintendo was to come out with a space game and it had a woman, but it wasn't Samus, like, regardless of skin tone. Like, if it was just a woman and it wasn't Samus, <laughs> they would, they would, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly it. They'd be so mad. That would be all they'd post is the picture of Samus from Other M. That's all they'd post. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now. I can see the forums now. Yeah, I mean, people just want, uh, you know, familiar. Uh, I don't know. They just, they just want that sense of comfort and familiarity. Do you know, do you know what I'm wearing today? You oh. exam. <laughs> no, that's it's, it. It's the exam. It's my it's... egg carrier. 